Hey, I'm Antonio Graceffo and this is Martial Arts Odyssey. Today I am in Bangkok, Thailand at Boxer Rebellion. This is a Savat based MMA gym, but today we're going to be learning Judo for MMA with Shane Wiggum. So what I'm going to show today is uh, some judo throws that actually work for MMA. Uh, there's about 64 known judo throws, but, but I, half of them probably won't work without the uniform or the gi. Most of the judo throws in MMA work from a clinch. We don't have a cage here. I, I, how I can get a lot of my gripping in is up, I can press the person up against the cage or a rope to get my grips. Shane is a black belt in judo with wrestling experience, pro boxing experience, 25 Muay Thai fights and 15 MMA fights, and currently he's a fighter in DARE, fighting championships here in Thailand. I have his arm here. There's not many hooks. I don't have any knees. So I'm grabbing his arm. Lift him from mid down. Look around his waist. Here I'm going to spin in. From here, pick him up. It works a little better from the tall. Actually, this is what I actually did it works in MMA and also high uh, boxing as well. This is here. This is on the end. Pull out in the head. Here, just the shoulder. Here, I'm going to pass my hands together. Really, I'm going to spin around. From here, we're doing it really slow. And then lift a little tall on the ground. Wow. Okay. Now you do it. Ground with the guy, or you would have stayed up and just thrown him? Uh, this this particular throw, you usually go to your ground. Okay, okay. So, so you would go to the ground. Really close throw. And you land into your side control, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Show, show again. <laughs> Everybody thinks in MMA that the, 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 the only throws are shoots, where you go in and take a single leg or a double leg from down low. But, but for judo, obviously, there's all different kinds of throws from the upper body. And the reason why. I think judo throws and uh, Greco-Roman throws are really important for MMA, it's, especially in this part of the world. Everybody studied Thai boxing, everybody studied Muay Thai, so the clinch is a really common position. So it's really good to learn to fight from the clinch. Also, if you're, you know, a guy's boxing you and he's, and he's getting the better of you and you're getting hit and you don't like it, you just clinch and then go for a throw. You don't have to drop on your knees or whatever. It's actually a uh, Thai boxing technique. Well, Thai boxing can do a little kick out of it. But for either more judo style, we're pressing a nice elbow, like steroid motion, we're going to trip the person down. We're going to pull it here, pull the person around, set each your time. Set each your time. Set each your time. So now you one time. Probably for MMA, it's probably the best throw to do because you can't slip off really easy. But on the, uh, one, one way you can make it work is called a drop sail. You've got a person here, when you have a person going to lean over this a little bit. And we're usually what happens the first time a person is going to be pushing them against you just a little bit. From here, I'm going to pull under. Pull off. Pull off. bit from here. So you push it up against me. And I'm going to push back just a little bit. So usually what happens, he'll push back a little harder. So what I have from here, I'm going to, this hand's going to go under. And then my body's going to turn, pulling 180, but go underneath his legs. Hmm. And he's not 20 kilos bigger than me. Ah. <laughs> Hurt. Go. <Yeah. laughs> It's okay. I'm old, man. <laughs> okay, from here. I'm going to come out underneath. Pull up. From here. And I'm going to stand, stand straight up. And from, here, and from right there, I'm going to smash them right down. This is actually just like a throw where you can actually really hurt someone. Because you can actually spear a person around the head if you're, if you're really mean. Or an outside reaping throw. It's actually if someone's really, really tall. I actually threw him the other day with it, so it does work. But from here, kind of, kind of standing like this. What you're going to do, down cross. Usually the person's bigger and stronger than you, you've got to make sure your technique's perfect. And not the counter for this is the exact same throw. the same exact throw. Exact same throw. So, so you don't, if, you don't do your, if you don't do a lot of techniques properly right, he's, he, the bigger guy's got advantage. Right, right. So what, what are you going to do? For MMA or boxing or, or self-defense, self-defense, you come up and hit the person like this. Okay, for MMA, you can't really, you don't probably want to do that. But usually what happens, you put a hand clothesline a person, or, you know, bam, an elbow strike. The ground's going to be nice, I'm going to put my hand on my shoulder, and then collapse into his chest. Whoop. That's my Maki, Maki Komi. From here, I'm sort of wrapping the person's head. From here, I'm going to totally, I, he's a bigger guy, he's all sweaty, I probably won't better do it right now. 
from here, I'm going to totally miss his head. Sometimes wrestling things don't quite work as well. So you have different, uh, and people are not used to judo throws sometimes. A lot of people don't, don't respect judo. So uh, there's actually some good MMA fighters out there that still do judo. Shane, thank you so much, man. And I, I like that, you know, showing a different perspective, right? Because uh, we don't see a lot of judo fighters in MMA. And uh, jiu jitsu schools are popping up everywhere now. I was home for Christmas. Literally every three blocks there was a jiu jitsu school or an MMA school now. And, and judo, like, you know, people are learning it, but I think it's really good. Judo and wrestling have the best takedowns. Yeah, uh, yeah I agree. Uh, and, uh, and most uh, traditional judo schools actually learn ground fighting too. Only some judo schools don't. No, that, don't get me wrong, I know, I know BJJ is really good on the ground, but uh, a, a really good uh, national ranked judo player is you know, what is on the ground, what is on the ground too. But I have a personal bias, which is the best takedowns in MMA, actually in fight sport, full stop, the best takedowns are boxing. <laughs> hey, that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. I am Antonio Graceffo, and we are here at Boxer Rebellion learning judo for MMA. As always, at the end of every episode of Martial Arts Odyssey, I tell you, get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, but please, say a prayer for the people of Burma. 